Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Cancer, I'm going to be doing a love reading for you guys, so choose your energy. This is energy one and this is energy two. I already feel that energy one is the masculine energy because we're getting the fiery sword. So I'm going to be saying masculine and feminine, like side one is masculine, side two is feminine, but you choose your energy. If you have to reverse it, reverse it. So the connective energy between the two of you guys, Cancer, is demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Right now, I feel that the masculine is being called to put action to something, to put action into demonstrating love, to put action into someone else. And I think that it's just kind of about time. I think now is the time, even though this person, I think, feels that, you know, there's always a block or there's always something to do. I feel like they're putting a lot of excuses, to be honest, as to why they cannot demonstrate it and why i feel like they feel they cannot is because i think with lease of the shadows in reverse they're sitting either it's so choose i mean it could be both things or it could be one or the other but it's either they're sitting in shadow meaning guilt feeling sorry for themselves not knowing that you know there's a way to kind of fix this situation that's what this feels like it feels like there's something that this person should fix right and all it takes is some sort of action some sort of plan that they they are more than capable of executing right with the fury sword this speaks of the masculine energy right and the masculine energy is someone who goes and does right someone who puts a plan into it's not like so much about planning it's more about executing the plan right so for some of you they could be planning to do this they could be you know that, that's a thought in their head and I think that they will come to understand this, right? This is some. This is kind of where they're headed. Uh, it's dependent really of where their energy is right now, where they're at. I see that the like the spirit guys that they have, the angels, the guardians, are telling them with this seven, like the divine is helping this person kind of leave the shadow. And you know, this shadow could be friends. This shadow could be addictions that they have. You know we're not all perfect and we step in shit sometimes and it feels like this person kind of stepped in some shit you know it feels like this person the way that they were moving again the guilt is something that i feel if they're if they're feeling guilty it's a good thing because it kind of is humbling them and kind of tearing that ego apart which i think is a very positive thing right because I feel like part of this person's shadow could have been their ego. But on the other hand, if there is an environment, which I kind of feel for some of you guys, that this person is dealing with a shady group of people, again, it's like they stepped in shit and they're dragging shit all over the house, right? Uh, imagine how, you know, if going from room to room to room, it's affecting every aspect of the house, mean, meaning it's, it's affecting every aspect of the soul, of themselves, right? And... I think that's where their ego led them, right, into the shadow. So I think that it's really positive that they're being told that they have the potential to kind of fix a situation with someone. You know, the RAR talks about how they can kind of do anything that they set their mind to, right? And they're being given that energy to go and accomplish it. And you can see all this like light energy, right? You can see how powerful it is, but at the same time, the shadow card is sitting in between them. So either right now they're in a time of guilt they're in a time of feeling sorry for themselves, uh, which I, again, I think is a positive thing because I feel like whatever, wherever this person was, it wasn't necessarily a good place. And I think that once they're able to kind of clear that up and they'll be able to kind of move forward in a much better direction. But at the same time, it's not too good to stay here either. But I think that the divine, the universe, the guardian angels of this person are trying to guide this person towards the sword and not feeling so guilty about what happened not feeling guilt you know guilty again it's it's good to humble the ego it's good to put that ego to rest and to start you know looking at ourselves and maybe the responsibilities that we play and sometimes i think that you know especially maybe for this person taking responsibility for their actions wasn't something that they liked to do right so i think that's part of their shadow is kind of blaming someone else for why things don't work out and you know 
I'm getting a lot with this person's shadow. Like, it's really positive that they brought up the shadow to this person so they can kind of take responsibility and humble themselves to a point where they don't they don't act in that way anymore, right? It's correcting something for this person. It's a correction, right? But at the same time, they have to get out of this to move forward, right? And that's what the, this is all about. They need to demonstrate love. They need to show someone that they care. They've been in this for too long. Whether it's in a shady environment with shady people, uh, you know, it could be everything to be honest because I'm, I'm telling you, once you step into the ego, you attract people who are not <laughs> on the, you know, on that, they are on that energetic frequency and that's a low vibe. So when you attract low vibe people, you're going to have problems come up that you really never expected to be dealing with, you know? And again, I think that it's really important but it's also very special that this came out in between these because I see an end point for this person, right? I see them being explained. Maybe again, this is this is the divine explaining to this person, I think like all the possibilities. And I think that this is still a possibility, but they have to get out of this shadow, right? And again, the humbling is a really positive thing. So I, although I saw at first and I was worried about this person because I was more worried about their environment and like where they kind of have gotten themselves into, <laughs> you know, it kind of feels like they might be surrounded by vultures, right? But at the same time, I think that being led to this place is important so that they see how far astray they have gone, right? And how far from the truth they are and it's it, again it's a real humbling moment for this person and once they get out of that i think that they're going to take action towards a person right and what's beautiful about this is that we have the seven and then four 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 right so fours this person gonna be seeing fours a lot again fours symbolize communication i don't think it's only the divine trying to communicate with them i think that they on a conscious level know that they need to be communicating to someone else you know, are apologizing to someone else. You know, I'm sorry I blamed the failure of our relationship on you. This feels kind of, you know, like two people who know one another. It just kind of is the vibe today. <laughs> but yeah, it feels like this person has to really climb out of the hole that they dug themselves in and put a f one foot forward in the right direction and they know what that direction is they have to demonstrate love they have to go express themselves to someone they have to tell them you know they have to tell somebody you know maybe you know it wasn't all your fault it was my fault too you know the humbling that this person has done that's what they need to express you know what they said in ego to this person it wasn't it wasn't true it was just someone again in ego and in shadow now let's get to the other side the feminine side I feel, I feel for this feminine, you can kind of see how the cards are mirroring one another. I think this feminine has had a really, really tough time healing. Not necessarily just like the heart, but it's something about this person's confidence, right? It's something about what was broken in this person when this relationship ended, right? It, it kind of feels like this person... It's like it's like that Lana song, right? It's like I lost myself when I lost you. I think and it, and I don't necessarily think that it's all of this side's fault, the feminine's fault because, you know, like they lost themselves. I think that's natural like in an ending of relationship. Not natural, but like it happens. I I feel like it's possible to lose yourself a little bit at the end of a relationship, especially when you've been in a relationship for a really long time. If there's codependency, again, it really depends, but I really think that this person they they got set they got triggered right with the bodacious bodak it feels like they got triggered because this person put the blame on them right it's like the person this person dumped their shadow and their ego on this other side and this person i feel they're still looking to recuperate that part of themselves that i think that they kind of lost again it's it's kind of like two people have been broken but in very different ways and what's sad is i think that I think this person, by being in their shadow, triggered this person 
to, again, this person's not necessarily in their shadow because we have really positive cards out here. But I think that this person still has not healed from the fact that this person either has not come forward and apologized. It feels like there hasn't been like closure. That's what it feels like in a sense. But at the same time, I don't think there's closure that's meant to happen between these two people because I feel like a second go around with these two because I feel there's something unfinished here with the dreams in reverse and the healing in reverse. It's kind of the fact that this person has to get their ass out of their shadow fix what and fix what they did, right? And what they did, I think, was put a lot of the hurt and the blame on this person, which triggered side two, the feminine, to... It feels kind of like their dreams <laughs> were put and you know, not on hold, but it's like a it, like it even died, you know, it feels really, really sad, right? With the dream the dream we were in reverse and the healing in reverse. And I feel like the unfinished business here is the closure that this person is supposed to bring to the feminine. The masculine needs to bring some sort of closure to this feminine and demonstrate the fact that it might not have been all their fault it, again maybe this is just a simple apology or, or a simple closure but i think that it's meant to happen i think it's divinely orchestrated because because of these two cards in reverse right it's it's kind of feels it doesn't feel like this again it feels like the person this person is you see how they're both tens yeah it feels like these are two, these are two tens in reverse the cycle is not ended, right? And why hasn't the cycle ended? Because this person has not come forward to demonstrate or to express themselves or to say I'm sorry or to give this person the closure they need. And I think the divine is really demanding that of this person with these two tens. It's crazy how this person, again, it's like the completion of a cycle for the feminine once this person does what they're supposed to do with the sword, uh, which is, I think, bring some sort of communication. But you know also there's i feel like there's an apology or some sort of you know explanation as to where they've been or what happened in you know looking at things through a different lens which is what the shadow work is doing for them they're seeing things differently uh whereas this person i think had always seen it that way the feminine side has always seen it the, the right way, I want to say. Maybe not necessarily perfect, but better than this other person who was doing shadow work, right? And what's sad is that I think that the feminine energy really... You see how there's a, there's a girl daydreaming right here? She's kind of sitting on a horse, like daydreaming. It feels like this feminine energy doesn't even want to daydream anymore. You know, it feels like... It's like, why daydream if I know like this person might not come back? Why, why put, you know what I mean? It feels really sad, to be honest, the feminine side. Like it's making me feel like I want to cry. And what I really feel like that is, is the hurt that this person kind of inflicted on the feminine. And the fact that they were in shadow possibly when they spoke or they were hurt and they said things that they didn't mean. And now I think the feminine sits there just, you know, a little bit restless because, again, there's unfinished business between these two. There's something that the masculine has to say to the feminine on an apology. This might not be getting back together. This might be a closure reading. But it's still, I think that the feminine is deserving of that. And I think the divine is really putting that into action with these two tens in reverse. I think that for right now, this is the energy that we're going to leave it at because there's still, th this masculine has to come forward and apologize or put some sort of closure here. And maybe it is a reconciliation with demonstrate love, but I feel that the feminine energy, when this person comes, is still going to be sitting in the energy of someone who it's like, I can't trust you. You know what I mean? I don't know if I can trust you. I don't know if I should run away. I don't know what you're doing here. Again, it seems, you know, the masculine really made the feminine feel like everything was their fault. And, you know, oh, you were the bad one, not me. And it just feels a lot of, you know, throwing everything on the feminine. And I think that this masculine realizes that. 
again that could be a reason for the guilt so for some of you i feel like it could be a reconciliation but i definitely feel unfinished business here with these two tens in reverse i definitely feel like this masculine has to come forward and either apologize or bring some sort of closure because that's the only way that this feminine is going to complete the cycle of maybe feeling also guilty but for things that she didn't really do do you know what i'm saying uh yeah it's very very like sad but i think that it could be very happy how do I explain it? it? It's sad, but it could be fixed very easily. But it's when this masculine is in the right energy and wants to communicate to the feminine. And then the cycle ends for the feminine. Let's pull what they both need to complete this. So Cancer, again, the connective energy, what both what both people need at this point is the Page of Wands. Someone needs to demonstrate love. Someone needs to go. You know, that was the first message in this reading. It was someone has to put action to something, right? To, to, to their feelings, to their thoughts, to how they, you know, to expressing themselves, to demonstrate love. Whatever the goal here is, it, whether it's reconciliation or a closure kind of thing, someone here really needs to put action behind it right and i'm again i'm feeling heavily it's the masculine and then uh what, what came out for the masculine is i am becoming a better person so yeah this person again i think it might not only be that they might be around shady people because of the energy they have been in so it's cutting ties with those people but it's also working through their shadow right and you see here that they have that decision that they need to make they have the decision of okay, like, am I going to go do what I know I'm supposed to be doing? You know what I mean? I'm supposed to go apologize. I'm supposed to form some sort of closure. And I think that they will take that chance because you see how the cards ended. We have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, again, it's the sword, the fiery sword. This person has to go put action into what it is that is needed at this time and what is needed at this time again it's depending on if this is a reconciliation or an apology but this person has to do something like there's an unend there's no end to the cycle until this person takes action and this is this was a soulmate you know with the six of cups and then the two of cups at the bottom of the deck this was a hundred percent a soulmate this is a hundred percent something that has to be resolved again but it, it's by the masculine approaching the feminine and explaining to them what happened basically and apologizing i really feel strongly it's an apology that's needed it's like actual action again we're getting so many cards of someone putting in actual <laughs> energy right <laughs> And it's crazy, again, they're, they're, they know that this is a soulmate. Maybe now they're coming to that realization doing shadow work. But but you guys see how with this 10, it's with these two 10s in reverse, and this is the 10, it's, again, this masculine energy is bringing the closure, bringing the ending to this cycle. This is really hard cycle for the two of these people. And I feel what's sad is that I think that more than the fact that this is you know a soulmate and kind of the lovers right but i feel like this these two people were friends you know with this two of cups it feels like this was a friendship and it's like you wouldn't even want to treat your friend the way that this person treated this person uh the masculine treated the feminine so that's what makes me really sad and this this reading makes me feel really really like sad to be honest because i can feel the feminine energy with this finding out the truth crushed me and the knight of cups I feel that this feminine energy was like that ride or die, you know what I mean, with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, you know, sacrifices his own life for someone else's. And I think that the amount of energy that this feminine put in, in expressing maybe herself, expressing like the way she felt, and just being very honest with this person, right? Like, yeah, I'm not perfect, but I love you, right? Uh, it's it's like again this person was in shadow perhaps or in ego and that led them to kind of 100 percent just not giving any
talk about this feminine and that's what crushed this feminine, right? And that's why this feminine to this day is, I think, sitting like this uh, in an energy of there doesn't seem to be any rest again and there's no rest because there's no ending yet to the cycle and i feel like what will really bring the end to the cycle again i'm going to say it for this for the masculines uh is making a decision right to move out of your shadow and to move into an energy of action right these cards speak of action and it's ending this cycle right and again it's it's like you wouldn't even you you have to remember this was your friend at some point and I think that's what hurts the most is that I don't know like why you would you know your shadow ch makes you do things that you know we wouldn't necessarily normally do so I feel that it wasn't really you at that time but now is the right time to explain to the feminine how you know what exactly happened and yeah it's okay that you're becoming a better person but now put that to action again like if you feel like you're you've changed and you've grown up then show the feminine that there's an ending that needs to happen for you know the feminine and for you it's a completion of a cycle uh and the 10 needs to come right and i th i just think that it's sad because there was so much more energy put from the feminine to the masculine so now do you see like the cards too like there's so many cards on the masculine side and only one card for the feminine and it just shows what the feminine was. The feminine was the ride or die. The feminine was the energy that was like, you know, I'll do anything for you. I'll do anything to make this work. Like, what do you want? To, you know what I mean? And the masculine energy now is the one that is time to put action in because the feminine, the feminine is not doing anything. <laughs> the feminine is not supposed to do anything either. That's, that's the whole point here. Uh, there needs to be a demonstration of love, <sighs> you know, friendship. What, what did that even mean to this person uh show show the feminine you know so yeah that's what i'm getting with this cancer i'm sorry it's not the happiest read it's honestly making me very very sad but i really do feel that there will be completion at some point once the masculine is in the right energy so yeah cancer i love you guys so much i hope this reading resonates and i'll see you guys next time bye